Hey, well, good morning. Today is a little bit of a cooler day. It's like zero degrees, which is still crazy warm, but no calves last night. But the plan for today is we're gonna move a bunch of pairs out to pasture that are old enough that we feel comfortable they'll do good out there. So uh, we've got some sorting to do before we uh, start the feed. So we're gonna take six pair from this middle pen. As you can see, we are very wet, or wet, very wet for this time of year. Uh, but we're gonna grab six pair from this middle pen and move them out to pasture. It's a lot drier there, a lot more room. <clears throat> the reason we don't take more, the AI and embryo ones, the, ones, the cows that we wanna um, AI and put embryo implants in, we wanna keep them around here. And so uh, when we want to do that, we're not having to sort them back out there. So <clears throat> the reason we don't do more, we want to make sure that uh, the calves that get sent out there uh, are a little bit old enough that, uh, that health-wise they, uh, they're doing good. So we will still check up on them every day, but yeah. I got three calves right here. I'll grab the calf if you grab the cow. Hurry, right, little buddy, you're gonna come with me. Let's go. Oh, you're gonna be a runner. Come on, let's go. I should have been on the other side. No. Oh, some cows. Back up. Back up. This way. Come on. Here, there's your calf. There, two done. fencing is working and the water is good assuming that that's all good we will be moving a few pair over there just to get our numbers down here in the yard and uh, honestly give those animals a bit more room to move around so here for a while. Oh, somebody's already opened the gate for me. Oh, I would have known that. Guess I could have just looked. But well, let's just see whether we got power. Okay, we got good volts there. And there. We got nothing on the bottom, which that's not a surprise. Good. 
Got the calf shelters and everything in place out here. I don't think you can see them or not, but got a couple of them. Putting all the calves in the front so they don't get locked up. Sorry, so they don't get trampled. There, that's good. We'll put the cows in the back here. To me. All right, girls, let's go. Yep, yep, yep. Two, four, six. Okay, let's go. Yes. Uh, we're gonna have to push them. All right. So we got everything set up here. We got two uh, two calf shelters and a bed pack. We haven't bedded, I don't believe, in the calf shelter yet. So we gotta do that yet. But uh, they're not. They got feed. Lots of room. Hey, buddy. Me. Hey. Yep. Well, I was just inside having uh, my lunch and noticed one of our uh, heifers that we bought from Peter Penner was calving. So, I've been watching her a little bit and I think the feet, the feet are for sure out and possibly even, possibly even the head. Oh, we'll go take a look. 
The calf is. Looks like the calf is out. <clears throat> well, that was awesome. And she's licking it right away. Good job, Mama. Heifer calf. Yeah, that's pretty small. Okay, I just bought this, uh, brought this fresh calf <laughs> into the barn. It's bigger than Minnie, but not a whole lot. I'm not sure whether this thing will weigh 50 pounds, but uh, he looks pretty weak. We're going to have to figure what out what we're going to do here. Mom's been doing a great job. She's been licking it pretty much nonstop, but uh, it's pretty tiny. Okay, I just grabbed it and threw it on the scale. It's bigger than many, but not a whole lot. We're uh, 44. Okay, I grabbed that calf. I, I put it in the, our little incubator here, keep it warm. And I'm gonna check mama out. Not for sure, not anything, not like a cow can't have a small calf that size, but well, Minnie had a 42 and a, well, two 40 pounders. Yikes. Um, so yeah, it's kind of rare for them to have that small and only have one, so we will see. Does not appear like she's got another one in her, so that's, that's fine by me. Uh, but now I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this calf to uh, get it some, <clears throat> get her some energy. So get it warm, get it some milk in it, and yeah. Because that calf is pretty, it's small and weak. It's uh. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a bottle of colostrum and see if that can help boost it and uh, get him, help him out a little bit here. That's what we did for Minnie. We, uh, we got him a bottle of colostrum and then we milked the cow a couple times and then before we knew it, she was able to get on her own. So I'm hoping that's the case here. Well, it's not looking so good. We tried helping them up. We've tried many things, but uh, I'm gonna have to make some phone calls to see if there's anything else I can try with this calf. Okay, we gave this little calf some medicam. It's like Tylenol. Help with if there's any pain relief. Not really sure what's going on. Uh, she's pretty sad. The only uh, the only thoughts is that sometime in the process of birth or when it was out there, did it get stepped on? Not sure. But uh, we've done everything we can at this point, and now it's. Uh, I guess we just wait and see. It's got food. It's got Medicam. Um, uh, yeah, no, we'll see. I would like to think that in the next half hour, she should perk up if there if it is gonna get better, but we'll see. It is currently, it is currently raining outside. I can honestly say I, I don't believe I've ever experienced rain in February in Southern Manitoba. So a little ridiculous. Not good weather for the calves. Uh, is a chance for pneumonia to get in uh, if they get wet and then it gets cold. But uh, whatever, we'll do what we can to keep them alive. And they've got their shelters. Hopefully they use them. These ladies, we've got uh, all these four right here. These are all heifers that we think are getting close and a cow here and a cow in the back that are also getting close.
So that one right there is the mother of the calf that's in the shack. So anyway, <clears throat> we'll uh, we'll see what tonight brings, and hopefully this uh, Colorado low, this weather system that's coming in, it's supposed to bring lots of precipitation. Isn't too ridiculous. Uh, we don't get too much rain, too much snow, that kind of a thing. But anyway, it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for taking time to watch and have a good one.